Good morning, it is 7.30 here. Um, just ate some breakfast at the Overlook back there. Um, I think the plan for today is to get to the large wayside store, which has a decent resupply or so I've heard. And um, it's about 20 miles away. And then we'll go a little bit past there to set up camp. One thing I did forget to mention, um, I lost my glasses, not last night, but I think the night before. So I usually leave them in the side pocket inside my tent. And I think that next morning uh, at Black Rock, I went to shake out my tent and I think my glasses flew out because I forgot to put them back in their case. Um, so yeah, my glasses are gone. Um, so I'm gonna have to see what I need to do to get a new pair. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I am pretty close to um, Pennsylvania. So I may try to uh, get a new pair ordered and then have family come drop them off. about to be 12 o'clock in the afternoon here. Uh, I've done about 10 and a half miles. I am approaching the one camp store here and I'm gonna stop off, get a little snack, fill up water and just take a little rest here. It's three o'clock in the afternoon here. I'm about two miles from the next wayside. Uh, I'm gonna stop off, grab some dinner, and do a light resupply. And then probably do another four miles out of there.
All right, we are at Big Meadow Campground. Decided not to really go any further today. Uh, pretty full after eating over at the uh, the wayside there. Um, yeah, so I think did over 20 miles today, so I think we earned a nice rest. All right, it's 7 a.m. here. I'm all packed up, ready to take off here in a few minutes. Um, probably gonna try to do at least 20 miles today, maybe push a little further, I'm not really sure. Uh, probably just another stealth camping site. All right, had a nice lunch back there. Um, I think it's approaching one o'clock in the afternoon here. Park's definitely super crowded today. Uh, it is a Saturday, uh, so it's pretty busy. And um, some really great views out here. And it's not quite as hot today as it has been. I mean, it's still warm, but it doesn't feel like the humidity is quite as bad here so that's a relief um, I'm not really sure how many more miles i want to do uh, i think at least 10 but i'm not going to put too much pressure on myself may try to do more might do less we'll see uh, just got to be careful when it when it is hot like this make sure i'm hydrating and taking breaks as needed because i definitely feel like the heat was getting to me the past couple days, so I want to be safe. All right, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We got some trail magic back there at that picnic area, some cold water, some snacks and stuff, uh, which is really cool. I uh, got about five miles until the shelter here. Uh, or uh, at the very least I will be filling up water to then probably go a little bit further in stealth camp somewhere. Finally made it to camp here. I'm definitely exhausted. Uh, ended up being pretty hot today, about 90 degrees. Um, yeah, the heat's just taking it out of me here. Um, did about 18 miles though, so I think I have like 25 miles left of Shenandoah until I get to Front Royal. And I'm definitely looking forward to a nice town stay, do some laundry. I haven't been able to do laundry here in a few days and my socks are getting real bad. So definitely ready to clean my clothes and just relax.
Good morning, it is 8 a.m. here. I have a little visitor at my campsite. Um, I'm gonna be taking off here soon. And um, plan is to do 20 miles today. All right, I'm back on the trail here. It's 9.15. Um, just kind of was hanging around camp a little bit. Uh, just got this headache that won't really go away here. Um, I think it's just from the heat. So I'm just trying to down water. Took a couple ibuprofen too. I think the plan here is to just get to the, the next wayside in like seven or eight miles and eat some lunch just relax take it easy don't push it too hard today hopefully it won't be as hot today as it has been all week All right, feeling much better now. A headache finally went away. Uh, energy levels are feeling good. Just gotta make sure I can continue hydrating. Drink plenty of water and then electrolyte mixes as well. Um, it's around 10.30 in the morning and I'm four miles from the wayside here where I'm gonna stop off, get some lunch. All right, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Back out here on trail. Uh, it's a nice little lunch break over at the wayside. Got a smash burger and just relaxed, chilled. Uh, it was super nice and um, got 12 miles to go here. And should be a pretty chill 12 miles, hopefully. It's not too hot out here. So it's a nice change of pace. All right, made it to camp. Um, got a nice little stealth camping spot. Did about 21 miles today. Looking forward to getting into Front Royal tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, we're back out on trail, 7 a.m. We have a short six mile hike into the road gap. Uh, and then there is a free shuttle that runs into the town of Front Royal at 9.45 a.m. Now officially leaving Shenandoah.
vinegar. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, I'm in for the night, staying at the um, motel here in town. Um, they had a swimming pool here and when I jumped in I got water trapped in my ear so I'm going to have to do a little procedure here and try to plunge some of this water out. Uh, might be painful, a little uncomfortable, but I guess that's the price pay for jumping head first in the pool. Um, Got some Thai food that was very mediocre, so I probably won't be getting that again. But other than that, I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night, relax. And um, I also got some Epsom salt, so I'm going to soak my, my uh, legs in there and that'll feel nice.